Hey everybody, what I want to talk to you about today are ankle boots and skinny jeans. Now I've done a video before on how to wear ankle boots with skinny jeans and I think it is one of my most watched videos so I will put the link to that video below. What I want to do is go over this again and expand on it a little bit more. Uh, because I've gotten a lot of questions about this and I know it's confusing and it just requires a little bit of experimentation but I'm going to try to break it down for you guys in a way that will make it as simple for you as possible. Okay, so first things first, if you don't want to worry about it, you don't want to think about it, you just want to be done with it, here's what you're going to do. You're going to get a pair of super slim skinny jeans. That means they're going to fit really tight around the ankle. They can fit really tight around the ankle either with a zipper, zipper can help, or no zipper but they're just a really snug fit. You know what I mean, just not, not baggy. So you get a pair like that and then you get a pair of ankle boots that's actually a little taller, like two, three inches above your ankle bone and a little bit roomy around your ankle so it's not going to fit super snug to your ankle. And what that creates is enough room for your skinny jean to go inside your ankle boot, no problem. So if you don't want to worry about it and you don't want to think about it, get a super snug pair of skinny jeans, a little bit of a taller ankle boot with a little room around the ankle, keep the skinny jean inside the boot, and you're done, okay? It looks terrific, it's chic, it's slimming, it's all of those things, and you're done. Things get definitely more complicated if you do a shorter ankle boot or a baggier skinny jean. So let me show you what I mean. Right now I have on the same pair of skinny jeans that fits pretty tight to the ankle but a shorter ankle boot. So it's almost like the hemline of the jean is competing with the top of this boot. And this is where we get into the cuffing situation. So either I can make a decision to take these jeans to the tailor and say, hey, I want them tailored a little bit higher like that and then I wouldn't run into that problem, okay? So that's option one. Option two is you can cheat it. Tuck it under a little bit. So then you have it, so it's really touching the top of your boot, just a sliver, tiny sliver of skin showing. But there's not a lot, of, it's not competing with it. Or you can cuff. You can do one little cuff like that. You could do the double like that. There's the double cuff. So there's the double cuff. So you can either tuck it under a little bit, do one cuff, do two cuffs, or you can do one big cuff. And that's going to get bigger as you have more fabric on the bottom of your jean. So that's your other option, the one big cuff. Now, this is just with skinny jeans, like the really fitted to the ankle skinny jean. When you get into a straight leg jean, a boyfriend jean, it's a whole other ball game, okay? You can still, though, try the single cuff, the double cuff, or the big wide cuff. Those are really your three go-to cuffs, either for the skinny jean, the boyfriend jean, or the straight leg jean. For boot cut jeans, you're always gonna wear those over your shoe, you don't have to worry about it. So I hope that helps you when it comes to styling your jeans, your skinny jeans with your ankle boots. I know it can be tricky. If I didn't cover something or you have another question, just let me know, comment below or email me. You guys know that I'll get back to you. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and also um, be sure to check out the blog, BusbyStyle.com. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. This belt is total crap. So what I normally do is take the waist belt that comes with the dress off. I have a basket in my closet that's full just of those belts and sashes.